Have you ever been outside after a storm and seen a tree knocked over, or perhaps a trailer on its side, or even a farm filled flattened? This may at first look like damage as a result of tornadoes, but that's not always the case. I'm weatherbug meteorologist Rachel Peterson. A lot of times, storm damage like this is the result of a gust front. A gust front is the leading edge of cool, rapidly moving air produced by a thunderstorm. It's generated when rain falls and mixes with warm, dry air. It begins to evaporate and cool. The cool air rushes down from the cloud. When it hits the ground, it begins to fan out in all directions, causing damage. As it pushes out, it starts to curl, and the wind around the curl continues to accelerate. These downbursts can be with or without rain. Typically, dry microbursts are found in the drier areas of the west and the high plains whereas wet microbursts are typically found in the humid east. The damage from these microbursts can be just as destructive as a tornado. However, there are some noticeable differences between the two. Gust front damage has a center point and moves out like a starburst. Twisted and swirled damage is caused by tornadoes. While gust fronts can travel a long way and last for 24 hours, small, more damaging gusts of wind are called microbursts. These are very concentrated and usually cause damage in an area less than two and a half miles. Microbursts are capable of producing wind gusts more than 165 miles per hour and last five to 15 minutes. If the damage covers more than two and a half miles, it's called a macroburst. Microbursts can be just as damaging in the air as they are on the ground. Their size and unexpectedness makes them a huge danger to airplanes with several fatal crashes attributed to it over the years. But increased computer technology and radar technology on airplanes has reduced the risk and danger of these surprise wind attacks. 